We want to continue looking at dictionaries and we will start off with the dictionary that shows associations between the months January and February and March and their associated average temperatures. So we can see here that I've already assigned temps to be a collection of three key value pairs where January is associated with 15, February is associated with 21, and March is associated with 34. And so when I look at the temps object, the object referred to by the name temps, you can see that I get the dictionary collection. One of the most useful things that we do with dictionaries is access entries in the dictionary. And the way we do that is by using the indexing operator. When we talk about the indexing operator, we often think about strings and lists where we index by position. But with dictionaries, there is no position. There is no inherent order. And so with a dictionary to access an item, what we really do is we access the data value that's associated with a particular key. And so the indexing operator is used not with a position, but rather with a key. So for example, if I say in the dictionary temps, I would like to access the data value that is associated with the key January. When I perform that indexing operation, I get back the value 15. Once again, in the dictionary, there is an item where January is the key and 15 is the data value. And so temps indexed by the string January, the key January, returns the data value 15. Likewise, temps indexed by the key March returns the value 34. Now, because dictionaries are mutable, we can use this indexing operator to modify the value that's associated with a key. So for example, if I wanted to change the value that is associated with the key March, I could do an assignment statement and change it to let's say 35. Maybe it's a degree warmer for some reason. And so when I do that and take a look at the dictionary, we can see that now the item for the key March is associated with the value 35. So if we do an assignment statement where on the left hand side we have an entry in the dictionary, the value on the right hand side becomes the new associated data value for that key. However, if the key that we provide is not present in the dictionary, then that same assignment statement becomes a way to add a new entry in the dictionary. So, for example, temps indexed by the key April. Well, April doesn't exist in our dictionary yet. And so now if I assign that to the value 48, what we've just done is to add a new entry into our dictionary. So April is the key, 48 is the data value. And likewise, I can do the same thing for May. The average temperature in May, I would like to create an association for 60 degrees. And now if I look in my dictionary, I can see that the key May has been associated to the data value 60. But something else very interesting has just happened. Notice that when we added May to our dictionary, for some reason, it's showing up as the first item in this collection. But when we added April, it was put in at the end of the collection. Remember that dictionaries are unordered. We don't really know why the dictionary is showing up this way. But the position of the items of the dictionary makes no difference because we never access anything by position. We always access things by key. And the important thing to realize is that the arrangement of the items in the dictionary is done so that looking up items by key is efficient. And so the fact that May is now the first items key 
and April as the last items key is simply due to the fact that that's how Python has decided to arrange the values to have maximum efficiency for lookup. Now, of course, we can do anything we wish with respect to using the value of a key value pair. So, for example, if I wanted to write an accumulator type statement, maybe the average temperature in May has just risen by one degree, I could, instead of setting it to 61, I could increment it by 60 or by one. So I could say the new value of the temperature for May will be the old value for May add one. What happens? Evaluate the right hand side. In the dictionary, the value associated with the key May is 60. Add one, we get 61. And now the key May is associated with 61. And when I hit return and look at the values in my dictionary, I can see now that I have 61. There's one other related operation that we can perform and that is removing an item from the dictionary and to do that we use what's called the del operator del and then I have to provide the name of the dictionary and the name of the key so if I would like to delete the entry for the key January from the temps dictionary I say del temps indexed by dictionary and now if I look at temps we can see that the January entry has been completely deleted. So when we delete from a dictionary, we actually remove the entire item. When we add to a dictionary, we add an entire key value item.